Okay guys, what's going on? This is Steve Didier here. Uh, what I'm going to do for you tonight is uh, I'm going to do a Google AdWords Keyword Planner tutorial. Now, I did one of these a couple of months ago, but Google switched everything up. All the old stuff is completely out the window right now. It's a brand new platform, brand new system, so we're just going to redo the tutorial again. It's still a great, great free tool that's available for you to help target your keywords when you're thinking about search engine optimization and you know showing up in the search engines and things like that. So all these things are absolutely critical if you are designing a website, if you have a blog like the Empower Network blog, you want to be able, if you're selling things, you want to be able to target the keywords so that your blog, your pages, your website show up in the results when people search for what you have on Google. So Let's get started. I already typed in. It's really easy to find. You can see up here in the right hand corner, I already typed in Google AdWords Keyword Tool. So we're going to hit search on that. And you see right here at the top, adwords.google.com. That's easy. You know, click on that. Now, this will bring you, if you're used to the old keyword planner, this is going to be entirely new to you. So um, I'm already logged in. Uh, if you go there, if you have a Gmail account, you can log in. If not, just create a, an account with um, Google AdWords and log in. When you log in, you'll come to this screen. Now, what you want to do is go up here to Tools and Analysis. Click on that. Go to the fifth one down. It's called Keyword Planner. Just click on that. Now, when that comes up, it'll give you a spot. It'll give you a couple of choices, first of all. My computer's running a little bit slow tonight. But right here, you'll see a couple different choices. Now, we're gonna select the first one. For what we're, what we're targeting, we're gonna select the first one, search for new keyword and ad group ideas. Now, you can put whatever you want in there. Like, say you're using your blog to market um, paracord bracelets. I'm wearing one right now, so I just came up with that. But uh, paracord bracelets, you know, a lot of people do them at the house and they try and sell them on the websites or whatever. They're, they're just uh, kind of survival bracelets that are made out of paracord and there's different designs and things like that. So say you, you do those at your house and you're looking to market those online. Let's, uh, let's type in those paracord bracelet or Ah, there we go. Paracord bracelet. Now, scroll down, click the blue Get Ideas button. Now, it'll bring you to this page. We don't want ad group ideas. That's not what we're looking for right now. So, this tab right to the right of it is called Keyword Ideas. Go ahead and click on that. Now, you'll see, here's our, our keywords up here. You'll see it right here. It, uh, this will tell you the average monthly searches of how many people actually search for the exact words that you put. Now, this is a pretty high search count. There's 49, an average of 49,500 people each month that Google the words paracord bracelet. Now, the competition on that is pretty high. That means that a lot of people are trying to target those keywords, trying to optimize their site or their blog to target those keywords. We, don't, we want to stay away from those. Especially if you're just a beginner or you know, what we're really trying to do is target niche keywords. So let's scroll down here. And what you'll see here is a bunch of different word combinations using your keywords. So what we're looking for is ones with low competition and a reasonable amount of searches. Now, paracord bracelets, plural, 5,400 searches a month. Competition is high. I kind of want to stay away from that. Now, this one's kind of interesting. Paracord bracelet instructions. 6,600 searches average per month. And the competition is low. There's nobody that's really heavily, heavily targeting those. So that might be something, you know, if you're selling the uh, paracord bracelets, maybe you could put together a list of different instructions on the different types of bracelets and make it a freebie a giveaway or something on an opt-in page and collect people who might actually be buyers of paracord bracelets so you can advertise to them. So that'd be one idea. Uh, as we scroll down here, we got some more high, high, high 
This is very similar to paracord instructions. It's how to make a paracord bracelet. Now here's one, paracord bracelet with a buckle. This is really interesting. Now, a lot of people might disregard this because there's only 390 average searches per month. But the competition is really low. And this looks like, well, two things come to mind. First of all, it looks like something that might be relatively easy to rank for. Based on the fact there's not that many searches, the competition's low, there's a little bit more research that you can do on that, but just looking at what the information that we have here. The second thing that comes to mind is the more detailed people are with their search terms. Instead of just Googling paracord bracelet, they're Googling specifically paracord bracelet with a buckle. That means they really know what they want. They've kind of done their research. They're looking for something specific. Now, traditionally speaking in marketing, the people who are more specific with what they're searching for are closer to making a buying decision. So these are people you can target. If you do a great blog post or a couple great blog posts that really hone in on this keyword phrase, paracord bracelet with a buckle, you have a very good chance of ranking high in the search results. And granted, there's only 390 searches a month, but if you added with one blog post, if you added two, three, four hundred search, you know, people coming to your site who are actively looking to purchase something, that can make you, that can translate into quite a few sales. It can make a huge difference in your business, especially if you find a couple of these little golden nuggets. Um, wide paracord bracelet, there's another one. Low competition, 390 searches a month. Do a couple posts on this, do a couple posts on this. You could conceivably have almost 800 people who are closer to making a buying decision visiting your site and looking what you have to sell. Uh, here we go, as we scroll down, we're gonna look at a couple of these more, how to make a paracord bracelet. There seems to be a lot of searching for instructionals on how to make paracord bracelets. Um, let me see how to make paracord, that's another instructional one. Here's another one, paracord bracelet uses. There are 1,600 people a month looking for uses of paracord bracelets. You know, that could be something that you give away to get people to opt in on your list as well. All the different uses and the different types and all those kinds of things. I'm not super familiar with them. I have a couple, but I'm not super familiar with the uses, but you kind of get the idea. Here's another one. Paracord bracelet without a buckle. 590 searches, low competition. So just a, just a quick search on you know something, and you can do this no matter what you're marketing. Now, it doesn't matter whether you're marketing bunt cakes or screen doors or real estate, it, it doesn't matter. Especially if you're using your Empower Network blog, you already have that authority site, so it's gonna boost your chances of getting high in the search results anyway. So if you combine that with a very good targeted keyword campaign in your blog post, you can be picking up a lot of traffic. Traffic converts to sales. If you have the right offer and you're not really out of whack price-wise and all that kind of stuff, but you won't get sales without it, that's for sure. So that kind of gives you an idea. You know, you have all these different types. There's so many different uh, keyword groupings that you can do to with button, you know, do-it-yourself paracord bracelet, two-color paracord bracelet, 720 searches a month, low competition. So you kind of get the idea. It's very easy to use. You can apply it to no matter what product or service that you're selling. And it's like the first line in getting your blog or your website noticed by people online. So use this tool. It's free through Google. It is invaluable to anybody looking to market anything online. And if you have any questions, wherever, wherever you found this video, whether it's YouTube or uh, my blog or wherever. If you have any questions, uh, just you know, shoot me an email or leave a comment below. I do try and get back to every single comment. So uh, we look forward to hearing from you. And uh, in the meantime, happy marketing. Happy marketing. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Bye.